This is a short video to demonstrate the use of the hollow patient as a function of the hollow lens as an educational tool in both undergraduate and postgraduate training. The example being used is that of Millie, a patient with preeclampsia who will deteriorate. As you can see, small group teaching sessions can be run with Millie projected into the room. The hollow patient gives a real life simulation of a woman who is pregnant expressing symptoms of preeclampsia. As you can see, the additional benefit of, the, of wearing the HoloLens headsets allows the user to walk around Millie to help make a full assessment of the scenario. There is the option of annotating notes for the users to see, and the real-time observations are also seen. As you can see, Millie can also express herself, giving a sense of a real-life patient. The scenario progresses to Millie 2, and you can see she has now progressed, holding her head in pain, looking more distressed. The observations have worsened, and the teacher can change these prior to the teaching session. As you can see here, users can join the session in person or remotely using several devices, including smartphones or iPads, or of course can wear the HoloLens headset. The facilitator or teacher can ask the participants questions about what they're concerned about and what they'd like to do to manage this patient. The HoloLens has some voice effects as seen here to further add to the real feel of Millie. Why is everything so blurry? Moving on to Millie 3, as you can see here, powerful display of an eclamptic fit with observations that have further deteriorated. This shows participants an eclamptic fit that luckily is, in, is uncommon in clinical practice. This highlights the benefits of Millie as a holographic projection of this obstetric emergency. Again, users wearing the HoloLens headset in this session uh, with a smart device can walk around Millie to get better views. And finally, Millie 4 shows her recovering from the eclamptic fit and provides an opportunity for the teacher to discuss post-emergency care, which may involve delivery by caesarean section and a discussion of effective analgesia.